I'm going to do uh, an abstract painting based on Modigliani's famous quote, death makes the market. So I'm going to make my second attempt at trying to do um, an abstract work that's based on uh, roughly what the um, Gu Tai group was aiming for, or specifically uh, Takesada Matsutani. Um, I tried on the earlier on transgression, which turned out to be a very powerful, um, impressive painting. But I was I had to scrape repeatedly in different directions in order to um, finish it. So this time I'm just going to do one pass, one scrape with the squeegee and some um, printer's ink. I'm not using acrylic paint this time. I'm using printer's ink. The kind of printer's ink that I'm using is called Acromina in, in Spanish, so I guess it's Acromine in English. I haven't looked it up. Actually, I did try to look it up and there doesn't seem to be anything online uh, about it under Acromine, so I'm going to try to find out what it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just do one pass, one scrape, and see how it turns out and leave it completely alone. Modigliani basically, um, I think he effectively committed suicide. In fact, I think he jumped out of, the, of his window in Paris or something, and then his um, pregnant girlfriend like killed herself four days later. It's a really terrible story. Uh, but the, um, the, the quote from him is that death makes the market, which basically means that when the artist dies, their um, paintings increase in value. It's a highly cynical and depressing uh, idea that uh, that painting, the value of art, specifically painting, increases upon the death of the artist. And that most people know that, and it's just sort of a, an unspoken taboo during the artist's lifetime. And there's even actually a term that the art industry uses, it's almost like an official jargon, that is called death effect, which basically means that the uh, value of the pieces are, are going to increase after the artist's death. I was telling my friend Keith, who's helping film this, that I feel kind of guilty about liking abstract art because uh, although I don't really identify with this sort of neo-realist, neo-figurative uh, movement that's happening right now, that's been happening over the past couple decades uh, with um, groups like the um, Art Renewal Center that are bringing back, bringing figurative art back into you know focus. I really appreciate what they've done and. I myself, you know, 
definitely want to be able to paint well in terms of figurative art, but I really appreciate, I have a genuine appreciation for um, abstract work. It, not all abstract work, there's plenty of abstract work that doesn't appeal to me or doesn't interest me. I really am interested in Zen abstraction. Uh, so that's why I am so interested in um, Takesana um, Matsutani's work and the Gutai group's work because I want to be able to pre I want to be able to um, create not just sublime art but also there's a beauty in Zen art that I want to be able to create and I think that I actually did succeed fully with this painting creating that Zen Zen. With this painting, I actually feel like I really succeeded at illustrating that concept of the death effect, right? Of death makes the market. Because the way that um, I intended to make a black line across the canvas, it actually, sque the squeegee uh, moved it so, and so that only a very thin, residue of the paint itself was left over and then all the actual paint you know fell in like gloopy globs onto the canvas at the end and to me that represents basically sort of the aftermath of the artist's life and death and that all of that you know recognition and money and fame and glory and all that other stuff that most artists want you know to have even if only so that it facilitates their practice, you know, maybe they don't even care about fame itself. But all of that reward is like left over for after their death for other people to um, enjoy, you know, and they don't get to enjoy any of it. So it's all this, these black globs that mean nothing to the artist, but obviously they mean a lot to a lot of other people who can benefit financially or just enjoy the art, which is great. That part's great. So I think it was a great success. I was, I was a little bit uh, perturbed when um, it started, you know, falling off in these globs onto the canvas. But I knew immediately what it meant, what it symbolized. So I left it, 